Hi guys, it's me. Um, I thought I'd do a little chat about video. Um, I've already done one um, previously, but this is kind of an updated one, I suppose. So today I thought we would chat about making your own textures. Um, we all know that there's umpteen things out there that you can buy. Um, you know, the mats and, in fact, bear with me, I'll just get some. Okay, I've just picked a quick selection. Uh, these are some of the things I use to create texture. This is um, a silicon mat. I'm not sure if you can make the texture out on it, but it's um, just like a grain, um, fine grain. Uh, I'm, I've made these with stencils and sandpaper, ball tool, side of a file, material, and that was in an embossing folder that you use for arts and crafts. Um, so, and there's obviously stamps, these are Melanie Muir stamps. And then you can get the hard plastic types. And these are just a small selection so yeah there's lots and lots of things out there that we can use um, but obviously all these things have a price don't they um, you know from just a couple of pounds maybe to quite expensive tools especially branded tools um, so why not have a go at making your own so I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a backstory seeing as we're having a chat um, a, a, quite a while ago, uh, one of my um, really good friends who works in a charity shop, um, thrift store, um, popped in um, pre-COVID, so she just popped in uh, and said, oh, um, we got this donated today. Will it be of any use to you? I know you like using modeling materials. And she gave me two boxes of Sculpey Original, which, as we all know, for making jewellery and things, it's a bit pants. Um, but I have used it to make um, little stands that I use um, for doing my um, resin in or holding a piece while I'm doing something. Um, I've made my own little texture mats with it. You know so it's not been wasted anyway the other night i was scrolling through pinterest as you do and i came across um this lady making a ceramic um plaque tile for whatever uh whatever you want to call it quite a big piece um stunning work absolutely stunning and all made with her own little carved or molded handmade tools and if i can find the link um i will share it um but if i don't i'll apologize it's probably because i can't get the link to copy because it didn't have a site to go to it was one of those where it was just a little video anyway so i sat watching the teller with the husband he was watching some thing i wasn't really interested in so i went and got me clay and I grabbed just a few little tools like this. What we are, we've all got, you know, a little metal skewer, some scissors, my little roller, uh, some ball tools. Uh, my ball tools have got like little silicon smooches or whatever they're called on the end. So I just grabbed a few of those. In fact, I've forgotten a couple. Uh, so I've got different size ball tools and such. I grabbed those, just grabbed a lap tray, grabbed some Sculpey and I made these. So as you can see, that one's just got all different balls on and I made it like a little stand. You can obviously refine these. Um, I'm not, I don't care what they look like. Just bring a bit of clay in to show you. And I made this one like a ball so I could kind of roll it. Um, and that makes sort of like that sort of pattern. And I made this one just by poking this in. Like that. And 
that gives like a actually i got the idea for this one because there was a lady who uh, commented on uh, a group in facebook where she'd read one of uh, been looking at one of my videos um and she had nothing um that she could think of to make a really nice texture so she used um i think it was the a, either a walnut or the stone out of a fruit like a peach or something which kind of looks like that doesn't it um and i just thought you know well good on you um so yeah i made all these little stamps if you want to call them stamps so i can get some kind of random rather than um what's the word i'm looking for so that's that one you know sometimes you just want to do you know maybe a, a line through your piece without doing anything else so using a texture mat you get like a hard line don't you i love this one it's like a bit of a limpet pattern in fact i'm going to make um a more dormy one um so yeah these are just some of them i made dead easy like this one i just used um the skewer and pressed the skewer in and this one i just dragged the skewer through well, i may have used a ball tool but you can see with that one um same again with this one i think i used the edge of a nail file that was on the table then i just used my ball tool to dot some holes i love this one i just made loads of little balls and when you get that little pattern there so yeah i made these made the little stands and just baked them off left them standing in the kitchen and just bake them off in the morning um so um they were dead easy to make um, so I'm just going to take your kids, I mean this is, that sculpt is, shot. watch this, how soft it is. I wish you could do this with uh, Fimo. It comes together so quickly, it's so soft. And I'm, I'm sure, I think people use this for sculpting and stuff, don't they? Because it's, you know, it's more pliable. But um, as most of you know, it's not very good for making jewellery. Um so i'm just softening it up a bit um and i'm gonna make one like this just a little bit smaller and a bit more pronounced so it looks like um like a limpet type thing if that makes sense so i'm just going to give it a bit of shape and form a bit of a stand this might be a bit big actually, let's take some off, start again. I just flatten the ends and give it a roll, and then flatten the ends and give it a roll. There, and then if I just do that, it helps to form the stand and then I'm just going to try and shape this into a bit of a mushroom shape. Now I'm not the best modeler or anything. Um, I'm a bit rough and ready. I could never do any of these fine models um, that a lot of people do. That just blows me away. Um, it, they just look so beautiful and pretty and not something I'm good at so let's see if I can smooth this off a bit um, yeah there's a in a British well it's not a British group anybody can join it but it's PC UK uh, Paula McClay UK and they're running a bit of a competition um, And I've joined, I'm going to make something for this competition. 
and I've paid me it's two pound fee to join. So I've paid me my dues and I'm trying to come up with some ideas, but it's fantasy. The the theme is fantasy. Oh, that looks a bit rude. <laughs> um the theme is fantasy. Well, I don't it's you know me, I'm pretty contemporary. Um I don't use a lot of a big lot of colour or anything, so I'm a bit um I won't say put off. I'm gonna take it as a challenge. Um but yeah, I'm I'm a bit worried that I'm not gonna be able to come up with something. I've got a month to to make something and to submit it. Uh, I'll probably film it and then once it's drawn I can share what I made. Uh, but yeah, I'm a bit stumped. Um because I'm just not that sort of person. You know, I'm not into unicorns or um you know, quite like fairies and the, the folklore behind it, but I'm not somebody who'd um you know be really into stuff like that so i'm a bit i'm a bit stumped but we'll see we'll see what happens you guys will no doubt see the results when i've done right i think i know it looks a bit rude uh, but i think that's the overall shape i want to go for and i think i'll just use my skewer and i'm just going to in fact if i put a little dot in the middle that can be my uh, guide and I'm just going to see I've got to do it even it is so weird I can't I'm so rubbish at doing random um, I'm just gonna do this all over it And then, obviously it needs baking and stuff. Just filling in the gaps. And then I might just scratch it down a bit to give a bit more texture. Oh, I'm so rubbish. I should watch some modeling videos because it just amazes me how, how smooth and how lovely everything is you know just by using tools and the fingers and stuff uh, it's pretty cool so yeah I'm not looking well I am looking forward to this competition like I say it's um, something a bit different isn't it you know a bit of a challenge to yourself and you know it's I think it's good to be challenged you know, take on a task. Oh, that works better. See, I've I've learned something already. Um, I think it's good to challenge yourself. Um, it keeps your brain ticking over, doesn't it? And I'm just going to smooth any rough bits off with my finger. Make sure there's no little crumbly bits. I can always get them later with a file. Uh, if there's anything a bit too pronounced that I'm not keen on. But I think that'll do. So there, I've just made that one. And I'll bake that and um, show you at the end the finished result. Um, but yeah, I was thinking that I'd like to make some brooches just in a simple colour. Um, and, you know, do some simple patterns on them and stuff. Um, just like that my lady that made the tile. It was so lovely. So hopefully I can share the link and show you and give her some credit. Um, but if I can't, um, I'll maybe contact her and see if I can insert it or something. I'll, I'll try and figure something out anyway. Right, I'll get this, pop this in the oven to bake. And... Um, I'll pop back and show you in a sec guys, okay? Hi guys, I'm back. So there's my little limpet that I made and I've just um, conditioned some scrap clay and it's two layers of zero so it's reasonably thick. 
as you can see and I just thought I'd show you I'm going to kind of follow the same pattern that I saw um, the lady doing um, I think she's called Mary or Mari um, but anyway I'm going to follow the pattern she did similar to hers just you know for inspiration so I'm going to take my little limpet looking one and I'm just going to go across the middle making four little urchin patterns in fact I might just bung one there uh, because there was a bit of a gap and then I'm just going to use a skewer and I'm just going to do some quite deep dots around quite off the edge and then I'm going to lower the skewer and push in to make a longer uh, pattern just again following the pattern I've already made and there's a few crumbs popping up possibly to do with the fact that this clay has been sat a minute so it could just be because of that i can brush the crumbs off uh, in a minute and now i'm going to take a ball tool um i think i'll use this one and i'm just gonna put random pattern all the way around in any little bits that are a bit too flat pressing a bit firmer in some places than others and I'll just make sure I've got that shape okay and I'm going to go back in with my skewer and do an even longer squidge in front of this wavy line doesn't quite look the same on polymer clay as it does on normal clay. I'm assuming that's because of the plasticky properties. Um, but I do like the pattern. And then I'm just going to do some dots on this side, just like the lady's done in hers. So I'm just going to randomly follow this first, just to get that wave pattern. But then I'm just going to do random dots. Maybe come out a bit in some of these areas. Just to give it a bit more of a wave. And then in hers, I'll just make sure I haven't got too many spaces. In hers, she just does these little curves off like this. And, yeah. and that's all with a homemade tool out of scrap clay and a skewer. I think it looks pretty cute. If you did that across a Skinner blend, um, you know, for a pendant or a brooch, um, I think it'd look really lovely. Especially the changing textures from here to here and things. 
Um, so yeah, there you go, guys. Just a little chit chat about um, textures. Um, while I was looking for some of my tools, um, I found a couple of these guys. Um, that, um, you know, you scrape and mould softer clays with. Now, I haven't tried it on polymer clay. Um, but I've got some of the Sculpey here. Because um, I was thinking you could make your own texture logs. Um, just by... Scooping some clay out. I have to get the bits out before I move on. So you could make your own texture logs just by carving out and then using your ball tool and things. That's another idea. Um, you know, you could twist it before you bake it so it's a bit offset. So I might have a go at that and uh, if I do, I'll stick it in the uh well i might make another video about textures because there's so many different things you can do um but yeah that was just something i come up with while i was sat thinking uh, not too sure how well it would work on polymer clay unless it was really well um really well conditioned and very soft i'd maybe have to test a bit because i think it would drag if it isn't well conditioned yeah see that's just a bit of scrap and it has dragged quite a bit but if it was hang on let's just get a bit off and give it a really good condition well a really good squidge between my fingers and warm it up it's not about conditioning it it's about getting it warm isn't it and getting it soft and pliable right i'll just flatten it out on the table a bit Let's see if this works a bit better now it's softer. That's a bit better, still dragging a little bit. But that would add texture in itself, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, I mean, just play, guys. Um, especially if you're using some of this cheapy stuff, this cheapy modelling, sculpy modelling clay. You know, there's nothing lost if you mess it up and you as well then. <laughs> If you mess it up, you can just start again, can't you? And practice on some of your scraps. And this was, uh, I did this yesterday. There was, um, you know, I don't, I try and use everything. So I barely have any scraps. Um, that was the scraps left from making the um, fall um, tortoise shell. So I do my best not to have lots of scraps. But I just put them all together and I've got this lovely grey colour, um, which I could probably tone and do other things with or use it as uh, bead centres and things. Uh, so nothing goes to waste. Just use your scraps for playing with. Um, right, I'll leave you there, guys. Hope I'll give you a bit of uh, inspiration. Although, you know, obviously, thank you to the... Um, the ceramic clay community for giving me this idea in the first place. Um, I'll speak to you all soon. I've got a nice video lined up for you guys for next week. Um, just doing one colour. Um, I hope you all like it. And I'll um, see you in a couple of days. Bye.